hello guys welcome to this new video and if you don't know yes I have a website cctt.com so if you go there you're gonna see a lot of activities I have in a lot of labs so you can go over here and articles videos guides and quizzes and challenges so you can go ahead and go to my website because I have a lot more content and also if you haven't done it yet go ahead and follow me at CCNA daily tips and here's my YouTube, I mean my Twitter account, so go ahead and follow me there and now let's start with our activity. So I'm going to keep going and I added these three switches and four computers. And what I want to do in this video is I want to configure VTP, the channels, port fast, BPDU guard, VLANs, RP, VST, router and stick, ERGRP, redistribute again. So we're going to have a ERGRP um, network on this side and on probably another video I'm going to do that TACAT server which is on this side and on the video before what I did was I did the ERGRP um, for distribution and if you haven't seen that video go ahead and watch that and also the video before that where I configured this OSPF network to make sure that you are up to date and that you have the same network that I have right now okay so now let's go ahead and start with this configuration and actually I'm gonna start from the router because um, it is taking some time for the um, for the routing for the tables for the routing table to complete so let's go ahead and do let's go ahead and start from the router so router four right here, which is not router four, it's actually router six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's give it a host name. Host name of router, uh, no, switch, router six. And now, what we have to do first of all, we have to configure a DHCP, because this one is going to have a DHCP server for VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. So let me go ahead and put VLAN 20 right here. Okay. So now let's go ahead and do that and configure all that good stuff. Um, let's start with the DHCP excluded addresses. So we have to exclude, I'm going to use these two networks 10.10.10.6 for VLAN 10 and 10.20.6.0 for VLAN 20. So the first address that we have to exclude is going to be this one which is going to be the default router for VLAN 10 okay and also VLAN 20 so those two and now let's configure an interface um, gigabit 0, zero that 10 right because we're going to do router on a stick Encapsulation dot 10 IP address is going to be 10 dot 10 dot 6 dot 1. The one that we excluded right here 205 dot 205 dot 205 dot 0. It's not shut down. Now let's go to um, 20. Right, and over here, what we have to do is encapsulation dot 20. The IP address is going to be instead of 10 over here is going to be 20. That's great, that's great. And now what we could do now is let's exit out of here and let's do e router ERP. Um we cannot call it the same as a hundred or else it's not going to work. If you don't believe me, go ahead and try it. So from here, what we're going to do is the networks. We're going to add this networks. That's six, that zero, 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 that's two by five. There's going to be area three right here. Mm, what am I missing? Network. Invalid area 
up oh, I'm sorry how we doing e IGRP which doesn't do areas <laughs> of course not sorry for that guys okay so we have we have added the networks let's also add those okay yep all we have to do is add those two networks and now what we could do is redistribute and before we do that we have to do show interfaces interfaces and then we have to get this the bandwidth from this interface just like we did on the video before so gigabit so it's like zero and here we go we need the bandwidth see if I can find it somewhere okay bandwidth MTU delay and reliability and load okay so let's do redistribute and we are going to redistribute our SPF for this ID of one the metric let's go ahead and copy the metric from here make this bigger so we can see it better also you guys can see it better so we are going to redistribute so we can translate EGRP to OSPF paste that here the next one is going to be the metric the um, now the metric the delay delay is 10 and now it's going to be the reliability which is what is it I know it's 255 I believe right here 255 for five the next one is going to be the loading and loading I believe is one right here one okay one and the last one is going to be MTU and the MTU I believe is 1500 we can verify that there we go 1500 go ahead and do that now let's go to router OSPF one and let's do our redistribute we're going to redistribute PIGRP. Doing it by subnets, just like we did on the video before. Okay, that's great. So now we're translating EIGRP to OSPF and OSPF to e EIGRP. So that's good. Let's see. I believe we are done with the router. Let's just do an exit interface. So it's like zero. Now shut down okay that's great very good great great so now we have to do the DHCP we haven't done those so exit IP DHCP and from here what we have to do is a pool Cisco 10 network 10.10.6.0 okay default router 10.10.6.1 that's set for now and now let's go and do this one 20 and it's going to be right here the default router is going to be 20 okay and that default router is going to be the sub interfaces for VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 as you can see right here we configured that earlier let's see if we have it right here and right here okay that's great now we can do it in copy run start great now let's start configuring configuring these routers or the switches sorry so I'm switch switch one switch two and switch three and what we're going to start is I'm going to first let's do those Let's start with VTP. So for VTP, what we have to do is, since this one is already a server, because by default they are server, let's do VTP status. It is a server, but it doesn't have a domain name configured, so I'm going to configure that domain name. So let's go config T, VTP, domain, Cisco. Okay. Now let's configure those ether um, ether channels, and let's start for interface range. And the range is going to be 
from fast ethernet so it's like one two three which is channel one all right so let's go ahead and do that here port where is it um channel channel group one and then the mode is going to be active let's do the same for this interface is right here which is seven through nine okay let's do a channel group so this is going to be called three correct good and over here okay that's yeah that's done so we have these two ether channels right here configure now what we could do is exit out of here and let's do a port channels let's make those port channels um trunk links so port channel or not port channel interface port channel one switch port mode trunk and now switch port trunk allow vlan let's allow it all of them let's do the same for port channel three in this area and let's do the same for channel switch port mode trunk and switch port trunk allow all okay that's great so we are done with tp the channel now we don't have to do port fast for this one so we have to do it for this switches over here let's do rpvst we have done eigrp and router in the stick is almost done so let's exit out of here spanning tree mode rapid So that's great. Now let's configure this interface as a trunk, as a trunk link. So if you go interface, you get basically slash one, which is this one right here. Switch for mode trunk, and then switch for trunk allow VLAN all. So we're going to allow all the VLANs through this interface. So that's great. Let's exit host name S1, search one. So we are done with all of this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, let's end it, copy, run, start. Okay, that's good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this um, running configuration okay let's go from here so we can just paste it on these other switches so we can configure them faster and we have to do it until let's do until here copy let's paste it here and now let's just configure this we don't need this we don't need any of this. Right? Get rid of all this. Since we don't to do go, we are going to do switch two. The host name is going to be switch two. Okay, we can delete this. We don't need that. Port channel interface. Okay, and for switch two. What we have to do is let's make it this smaller so we can see switch two. We need port channel one, but we need port channel two, not three, because we don't have port channel three on this side, port channel two, and one through one, two, and three. But we're not going to use four, five, and six. We are going to use, let me see, what we're going to use is four through six so what we could do on this one is change this to four five and six and let's delete this one right here let's put this one right here let's see what else do we need we have to add 
what we're going to add here is the VTP, which is not here, VTP domain Cisco and VTP VTP um, mode client because the switch 2 needs to be a client and switch 3 also needs to be a client so I think this is this is done for now let's see what else we have here for channel 1, for channel 2, trunk Interf the interfaces active 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 for channel three let's do two let's do two and let's do also two right here okay so that's great now what we could do is just control a control c and let's paste this configuration and switch two and it this should configure everything we need for right now and then we use we can just do those interfaces as access and then add it to the VLANs after we do the V uh, after we add the VLANs to switch one so let's go right here enable config T and let's paste all of that and let's see if we have any errors we do not have any errors okay Yep, no errors. So that's good. We configure the entire switch two. Okay. So that's good. Now let's configure. We can just end this copy run start. Now let's do the same to switch three. But let's um, modify this a little bit. Switch three. VTP mode client, VTP domain Cisco, that's good. Port channel one, we don't need port channel one, we need port channel three for switch three. It's gonna be this one on this side and port channel two on this side. Okay, and we're not going to use one, we're going to use seven through nine, seven, eight, and that needs to be on group channel three, three, and let's do number nine right here and channel group three and four through five is good because it's the same as switch two and i believe that should do it let's see two two five six four three three and eight three and nine three and seven vtp domain cisco host name three and rapid pbst okay that looks good let's go ahead and copy this Control c and let's paste it here on switch three. Make it bigger. And I have paste everything here. Let's see, for channel two, for channel three. Everything is up and running. Let's end it. Copy, run, start. Let's show run to verify that everything is good. Okay, trunk four, five, and six, and then switch on group channel two. And there will be in trunk seven, eight, and nine on channel three. That's good. And it looks good, guys. So, what I could do now is go to switch one and do a config T. Let's create those VLAN, VLAN 10, and VLAN 20, end it. Show VLAN 110 and 20. Let's see if the clients receive those VLANs. Show VLAN. And as you can see, we have VLAN 10 and 20. And let's see on switch 3. Show VLAN. And we have an antenna 20, so VTP is working and it is trunking. So that's beautiful, guys. That's beautiful. And now what I what I have to do is I'll create those as access ports on switch. So we are on switch three. So let's start with switch three and add it to VLAN 20 here. And this one's going to be VLAN 10. Config T. Um, interface range 
broadcast Ethernet 20 through 21. All right, let's see if that's correct. So yeah, 20 to 21. Let's do switchboard mode access. Switchboard access VLAN 20 on this side, switch 3. Let's do a port fast. Oh no, span it to first. Port fast. And then um, BPD guard as well. Enable. Great. And then copy and start. Let's do the same to switch to. And now it's going to be VLAN 10 on this side. Boom. Okay, VPD you are enabled. Let's end it. Show, not show. Let's copy, run start. Okay, that's good. Now let's see if this. Computers get the IP address from the DHCP server. Desktop. And let's do a DHCP. See if we get that IP address. And it looks like it's not getting it yet. Hmm. Yep, it's not getting it. Do it one more time. And it failed again. Do it again. It's still not getting it. So we're not getting um, the DHCP. Let's see what's going on. Switch, switch one, show, show run. And let's see if Gigabyte 01 is up and running. Yep, switch port mode trunk, but it's not allowing those interfaces. Oh, is it? Let's see. Config T. Interface Gabriel 01. Switch port mode trunk. Oh no, switch port trunk allow. VLAN O. Um, and copy one start. Now let's see if we get it. And still not getting it. it's failing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let's copy everything or save everything. Enable copy run start. And after I save all my configuration, I'm going to reboot everything. The entire network because sometimes package tracer um, does not let me work or does not want to work, and you have to restart everything or reboot all the routers and switches. Copy one start. Copy one start. Start, save my configurations, copy run start, and now let's reboot everything. Okay, and I'm back, and let's see if we are getting those. IP address from the DHCP server and here we go so what I needed to do was um, reboot everything and now it is working I, I don't know if it is a bug or if 
I misconfigured, I didn't misconfigure anything because we are getting the IP addresses and there we go, 10.10.6.3, right? 10.10. .10. And now this one should get 10.20. And it is failing to get that 10.20. And it's failing to get that 10.20 for VLAN 20. Oh, there we go. Now it is working. 10.20.6 at 2. And this one should get that 10.20.6 at 3. Okay, now this one should get that 10.20.6 at 3. And here it is. It is working correctly. And now I should be able to ping from PC1 should be able to ping this router over here. Let's go over here. Ping 10.1.1.1. And here we go. We are able to ping through ERGRP, ERGRP over here to OSPF, and then through ERGRP, and then ERGRP responded to me, went to OSPF. It was translated here, like I did on the video before, went to OSPF, and OSPF right here, it, it translated to ERGRP, which I did um, on this video, and then it went through here. Okay, that's great. So now in the next video, what I'm going to do is configure that TACAX server. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye.